I taught you the jack o' lantern, right? Yep. Oh damn yeah, it! You got it. You got it. I don't know why we're both striking matches. We could both do this. There you go. Okay, ready? Desperate Defense Week Day Two. Defending yourself with just a box of matches. Okay, uh, we're fighting this guy off with matches. I, I, this doesn't seem possible. Okay, where, where did this idea come from? Okay, again, this comes from the Guide to Improvised Weaponry by Master Sergeant Terry Shepard of the U.S. Armed Forces. And last time we tested his idea of using a can of hairspray, which we thought was a, an effective bludgeon and, and melting the face and stinging the eyes yeah. and all that stuff. But matches are so persnickety. They're so challenging. Like, what does he say to do with them? This one is another desperate attempt to protect yourself against an assailant. And understand, we're only evaluating whether it's better than your bare fist. Yeah, that's yeah. the question. So one of the methods that he recommends is that you just light a match as someone's coming at you and you go for the eyes. Okay, well here, let me, right? put, on, let me put on eye protection. Okay. I, I am not very optimistic what about this. What if I this. set your beard on fire? Uh, I'm gonna come get you, Murphy. All right. You better, I'm really going as slow as I can. Okay. Uh, yeah. Nah. That, that was not, er, no? You wanna try it again? Yeah, here, here. Okay. All right, ready? Hey, man, what's up? I'm gonna fight you. I'm gonna fight you. Oh, wait. Ba, 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 ba. Yeah, right? <laughs> Here, you try it. You try it. Okay. Here, I'm gonna do it with a few of these, and I'm gonna do it like I'm uh, Genji throwing uh, ninja stars. Oh, I'm just gonna come at you and choke you out yeah. with my bare hands then. All right, ready? Here, just come, come at me. Ah! Oh! oh, okay. These are flames at. I definitely just threw flames at. Right here. I got it. We're good. It's all gone? <laughs> we'll switch sides. Yeah, let's do Going that. Going forward. Let's do that. So what do you do? You, you light a whole fistful of them, and are you throwing them, or just trying to chase them down? Well, or? if you have a book of matches, you light the whole book. But if you've got the box... And again, you're just throwing them at him? Just throwing it at his face. I know. It seems unlikely, right? Okay. All right. Here. He's going to go, dude, really? That's what it feels like. I'm gonna light this one, and light all the heads right there. Okay. And then throw it at your face. The seat, um, all right. <laughs> Uh, I will adopt a hostile position. Ready? Yeah. I'm already Take punching you. Already punching you. Yeah. I mean, even without the. Yeah, you're coming at me. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's that's like that's like uh, using um, mouth spray as mace. Yeah. Do you think that would have slowed you down so I could get away? If I'm coming at you to punch you or to kill you or whatever, I'm figuring I'm so supercharged with adrenaline, I right. definitely wouldn't have even noticed that. Yeah. It wouldn't have burned me. Right. I mean, that's the thing is maybe as a psychological deterrent, but but uh, yeah, I don't see anything. I'm not thinking it's really effective. The one that he says is the most effective method is to take off an article of clothing like that and attack Okay, your this assailant. is interesting because it could be, certainly if you're wearing like synthetics, uh, yeah. there are certain articles of clothing when I'm doing the fire eating act that I can't wear. I, everything's gotta be 100% cotton because- You've got that one paper bikini that's probably super <laughs> flammable, right? <laughs> that's true. Uh, but if it's a synthetic, it'll melt onto your flesh and really mess you up. So imagine like, like a synthetic shirt, mm -hmm. get it really going and then you mash yeah. it on his face. It's like napalm, it will stick even as he pulls it off. Well, we have one that's 100% cotton. Here's my suspicion is number one, I think it'll be much harder to light than you think. And number two, the moment you throw at me, I don't think I'll feel much, but let's, let's see. Plus, if you're being attacked, you're gonna take your shirt off, light it. I mean, how much what? time do you I'm, have? I'm th all of these, I wanna be as generous as possible. Like you're hiding around the corner. You sure. have a moment to prepare. Yeah. I feel like that's giving it a fair shake. That's fair. But uh, as a distraction, I think that would work. To be honest, if you're really in trouble, the best use I would imagine would be to light the article of clothing on fire, then use that bigger flame to light the building on fire or do something that breaks the yeah. pattern to allow you to escape. Yeah. Assuming you're running for your life. Starting a fire is always a good idea in any circumstances. Like if you've been in line at Arby's for too long, <laughs> take off your shirt, light it on fire, and say- So much yellow text. Extra Arby sauce! Down below. <laughs> imagine Mr. Bad Guy's coming for us and then we're hiding around the corner. Uh, First thing you gotta do, you got, yeah, we would do. Is it lighting? It's really not. Hold on. It's really not lighting. Is the die in a fire shirt ironically <laughs> fireproof? <laughs> just, just still waiting. Hope, hope the bad guy's not coming. Okay. All right. Well, hold it. Uh, 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 what are you doing? You coming at me? I'm gonna hit him. Oh, okay.
Stay back. Yeah. And it's just yeah. It's, it's bad. Not it's not effective. I mean, maybe I if think. you let it burn more and you've got one flaming big projectile and you hit him in the head with it and run. You'd have to get, really get it going though. You're not winning a fight with this though. Yeah, maybe you have a distraction. You, you wanna try lighting it again? Here, let's really get it going. Okay. Yeah, if you have a torch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the other thing, is the very act of throwing it at him makes the fire go away. Extra horsey sauce as well. All right. <laughs> The smoke of the yards, you gotta get it out. <laughs> okay, it's fine. I'm gonna open the door. Okay. Scale of one to ten. Bad. <laughs> Bad. Bad. Just use your fists. Yeah. That one sucked. Man, I'm surprised that this one is not just a bad idea. It's a dumb, like, I, it, it, I yeah. don't even understand the perceived benefit. This seems like something that someone's sitting around at the bar and like, that seems like that would work. I don't believe for a second that this would deter anyone. I think you should always wear synthetic clothing and soak them in gasoline before you leave the house. <laughs> Just to be safe, Just to man. be safe, you never know. So scale of one to 10, what do you think? I wanna say zero or possibly negative, but I want to allow for the fact that we almost certainly haven't exhausted all of the ideas you could do with this. Yeah. So this is one of those moments where I, I'm more than usual, super interested to hear what everybody says in the comments, how this could remotely be effective or good. But for right now, I'm giving it a, 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 an optimistic one out of 10. Yeah, I'm thinking the best you can hope for is that your assailant says, this guy's crazy. <laughs> He's gonna say that more because you're screaming than because he sees fire, yeah. you know? Important tip, if you're gonna set your shirt on fire, take it off first. Oh, uh, yeah, to each their own. <laughs> Self-immolation yeah, might be a good fine. defense against a, a mugger. <laughs> but the good news is we have a new benefit for patrons. If you would like the lovely die in a fire shirt that's died in a fire, <laughs> then hit us up over at patreon.com slash modern rogue. Join the community. We got the discord and we are doing lens posts all the time, starting this big adventure. Uh, and you, you stay handsome, buddy. Uh, here's another one down here. I'm not finding any back here. Yeah, I think it's fine. You don't see anything smoking or smoldering? Yeah, okay.